Because of you, I have someone to actually laugh at my jokes. But best of all, I have someone who continually makes me a better person. Throughout the years that we have been dating, I've seen your kindness, your generosity, and your patience. And effortlessly, you rub off those good things on me. I'm so grateful, grateful for that. I don't know what the future holds for us, but I know for sure our future kids will be so lucky as well to get those qualities from you. I met Myla and Patrick in Intermediate. Patrick is a shy and quiet guy. Until you get to know him, I always say he's a baba in. But if you really know him, he's mangi baba in most of the time. <laughs> but I can say never a dull moment with this guy. You're the best auntie. You treat my boys like your own and you love them with all that you are. You are working hard to build a future, but not once have you pushed us away in the process. Today, as I take you to be my wife, and as we leap into the next chapter of our lives, I want you to know that I will never take those things for granted. I promise you that I will always be here for you, to support you, to encourage you, and to protect you. I know that sounded so cliche, but I mean it from the depths of my heart. I'll be here for you in times of happiness, in times of sadness, even in times of madness. I can't promise to be less annoying, but I vow to you that I will strive to continually work on myself to be deserving of your love. Because of you, you are my hap to be deserve deserving of your love because you are my happiness and my inspiration. Because you are my best friend and my one true love. Your love for me is unwavering. Your faith in me is unwavering. Eleven years later, I still lose myself in your eyes. I still get butterflies when you kiss me. And when we hug, I feel safe and warm and nothing else in the world seems to matter. Nothing, no one else exists. You bear the weight of the world on your shoulders so that I don't have to. And when I get a rush of overwhelming sadness, you're there to keep me above water. I'm in a constant battle with my own thoughts and fears, and when they become unbearable, you know just how to silence the noise. I learned that you can't be moved by what you see, you have to be moved by what you know. And what I know is that you were made for me. You are the greatest gift God has given me. Thank you for making me laugh until I cry. Thank you for pushing me harder even when I'm on the verge of giving up. Thank you for believing I can when I'm so positive I can't. Thank you for massaging my feet even when they're calloused and scratchy. Thank you for making me breakfast on most mornings and washing my car because I refuse to. <laughs> Thank you for accepting me as I am. Thank you for caring for me the way I don't deserve. It's my turn to take care of you. On this day forward, I vow to give you back massages and tickles till you fall asleep, but only once or twice a week. <laughs> I vow to cook you edible food <laughs> every now and then. I vow to take out the trash sometime, and on a serious note, I vow to love you on your good days. I vow to be patient and understanding on your bad ones. I vow to love you more, even more today than I did yesterday, tomorrow even more than I do today. 
I promise to comfort you when you are feeling defeated. I promise to support you in all of your goals and dreams. I promise to be the best life partner I can possibly be to you. I love you. one thing that we can all learn from their relationship it's this great things take time Patrick thank you for loving my sister and pushing her out of her comfort zone you are not only her first love but her soulmate life partner comforter biggest supporter greatest friend and her home Um, take the bus home and I remember we'd always push uh, Myla to Patrick because we knew that uh, Patrick had this huge crush on Myla <laughs> and what started out as a crush blossomed into a relationship and now a marriage both of you have grown individually over years over the years but the growth hasn't stopped now both of you will be growing and learning together as one I want to end with this reminder to always put love at the at the center of your relationship and always remember your love for each other because that's what brought you here today. Congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Alcaraz. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs>